Former inmate remanded for murder of Tryon Parks, suspected accomplice arrested. Bevan Stefan Griffith, recently released from prison, faces charges in violent vendor murder. In a shocking turn of events, Bevan Stefan Griffith, known as Spoonie, who was recently released from prison, finds himself back behind bars. Griffith, infamous for a drunken attack that claimed the life of Sophia resident Selwyn Mark Allen on Christmas night in 2017, is now facing charges and has been remanded for the murder of Tryon Parks. Griffith, a 27-year-old laborer residing at Lot 12 Dennis Street, Sophia, was sentenced to 18 years in prison on November 23, 2021. However, he was informed that, with deductions for a guilty plea and time served on remand for the previous murder of Allen, he would serve around eight years. This week, Griffith was arrested and charged with murder contrary to common law in connection to the tragic death of 36-year-old Parks. The accused appeared before Magistrate Sunil Scarce at the Diamond-slash-Golden Grove Magistrates Court in Court 1, where the charge was read. Griffith did not enter a plea and was promptly remanded to prison. The case has been adjourned to January 29, 2024. Upon Griffith's arrest, a .38 revolver, one live suspected matching ammunition, and a spent shell were discovered in his possession. Additionally, his alleged accomplice, Isaiah Greaves, also known as Daniels from Befield Sophia and the motorbike rider during the incident, was also taken into custody. Tryon Parks met a tragic end on Thursday, November 23rd, succumbing to injuries sustained during a shooting and robbery that occurred on November 18, 2023. Reports indicate that Parks, residing at Lot 107 Eccles, East Bank Demerara, EBD, suffered four gunshot wounds during a home invasion and was robbed of three gold chains he frequently wore around his neck. Following the initial incident, Parks was rushed to the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, GPHC, where he received treatment and was discharged the next day. Unfortunately, he later complained of feeling unwell and sought medical attention at the Woodlands Hospital, where he eventually passed away. It is noteworthy that Parks had a previous encounter with the law, having been charged in 2018 for robbing a prominent jewelry store. In that incident, Parks and others broke into the L. Seepersod Mirage and Sons Jewelry Store at Stabroic Market, Georgetown, stealing a substantial amount of gold and diamond jewelry valued at $20 million, along with $2 million in cash. He was remanded to prison but was later released on bail pending trial.